15. A call to order this regular council meeting for the corporation of the township of Rudna, Lindock, and Ragham, this fifth day of October 2022 at 7.02 p.m. Uh, Councillor Banks. Yes. Councillor Young. Here. Councillor Kalfa. Here. Councillor Rutledge. Yes. No, council is present. Uh, the adoption of the agenda. The resolution says that the council for the corporation of the township of Broodnell, Lindock and Ragham adopt the agenda as amended to include an additional item under subsection B of the closed session and one item under subsection E, litigation and potential litigation, including matters before administrative tribunals affecting the municipality or local board. Item 7-6 in correspondence is the County Council Summary for September. And item 8-7 and item 8-8 in new business letter of request from the local Royal Canadian Legion. And item C-8497, Hardwood Lake Cell Tower. So I need a mover on that resolution. Councillor Banks, a second to Councillor Young. All in favor? Yes. yes. And that is carried. Disclosure procuring interest uh, for any councillor with any of the matters before us tonight. None with me. None of that. None. none. Uh, we have no delegations or presentations. We're now down to adoption of minutes. The resolution says that we, the Council for the Corporation of the Township of Broodmill, Lindock, and Ragland, hereby adopt the minutes of the regular council meeting of September the 7th, 2022, special council meeting of September. 16th, 2022, and special council meeting of September 27th, 2022, as presented. Any mover on that? Councillor mm -hmm. Kalfal, seconder, Councillor Banks. Uh, any errors or omissions within the minutes that we see? I can okay. see any. None. Um, and I'll call for the vote. All yeah. in favor? Yes. Yes. And that is carried. Uh, down to, we have no uh, reports on direction received. Uh, now down to correspondence items. And the resolution says that we, the Council for the Corporation of the Township of Broodnell and Dr. I hereby accept the correspondence as presented. I need a mover on that, Councillor Banks, second to Councillor Coco. Are there any items within the correspondence that Council wishes to single out for support at this time? All items? Well, I was just myself kind of looking at. Uh... Seven two. Okay. With the township of Greater Malamusta. Yeah, I was wondering if we had a map of what that new boundary looks like. To that Greater Madawaska would be going towards the Kingston area, and mm -hmm. they're opposed to that. Yeah. So. Yes. Yeah, because I know part of this, I know this come forth at county council, and county council supported. The township in Greater Madawaska trying to be recognized to stay within the federal boundaries. Um, it's part of the county because then I believe it fell part of the if this goes ahead. Okay. So I guess if this is something that I just something I would like to support. Anyways. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So we'll bring that forth for the next meeting then. Yeah. Okay. Are there any other of the items on your correspondence? Okay, none. So I'll ask uh, then uh, the resolution for correspondence information items. I'll call for the vote. To call the vote. Yes. Yes. yes, yes, and that is carried. Uh, we have a few items under new business. Uh, the first one being item eight one, and that is a severance application. And the resolution says that the Council for the Corporation of the Township of Brunel and Dr. Ragland approved the land severance application number B82 slash 22 from Melinda and Cecil Keller for the creation of one new lot within, with the condition that all conditions as listed in the County Director Plan and Report concerning this division of land are met. I need a move around that, Councillor Banks, uh, Seconder, Councillor Young. Uh, any questions of the severance application resolution? Okay, so seeing none then, I'll call for the vote. All in favor? Yes. yes. And that is carried. We are now down to item 82. Uh, the resolution says that Council for the Corporation of Township Rudnell and Dr. Ragland allocate $58,000 plus HSD 
of modernization funding, allowing staff to retain the services of Roth integrated asset management strategies for the purposes of updating the asset management plan, or to be compliant with Ontario Regulation 588-17, and further that council is aware that more costs may arise before completion. I need a move around that. Councillor Young, a seconder. Councillor Kaufhaus. Okay, so I believe staff have a bit of a, uh, some, some comments. Is that correct, Ken? Uh, Justin's online. If he wants to okay, so I know we do have a staff report in regards uh, to the the resolution. Um, I don't. Does council have any questions? Or comments. Yes. No responsible young. Is this the report that was originally supposed to be completed by July 1st of this year? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um we had done a grant application. Did we get any funding from that? I think Cam Watson's maybe. We didn't get any funding from that. Okay. That was my my question was so the timeline, if I heard the council wrong correctly, is July 1st for that? Yes. This was yeah. Okay. yeah, that that part of the asset management plan. Um, the, the, the first phase of the asset management, as it is, as it does, as it complies with Ontario regulation. I think your basic infrastructure, your roads, your culverts was supposed to be updated by July the 1st. Yeah. And as of next year, I believe July 1st, 2023, I believe you have to update all your buildings, your buildings, all your assets, the assets in general. We're, we're two deadlines behind. Yeah. So basically, we're two deadlines behind. And this matters a lot to the municipality because this directly corresponds for any funding we may receive That's from right. the Ontario government. So if you think of it this way, asset management plan for municipalities and court, because when they look at your needs and they say, well, if you don't have an asset management plan, say you need a million bucks, what's to say we only need to give you 500,000? And that would only be hypothetical, but that's the true purpose of an asset management plan to make sure that we get the proper funding. Right. So, any other questions with council? The only other thing I really don't like is uh, that council is aware that more costs may arise before completion. Like, what do they mean? Like, what are the costs that are, are they going to be looking at? There could be unexpected costs, and we would never go ahead with anything prior to bringing it to council ahead of time. But we don't know fully what it entails yet completely. Because I mean, for a price of fifty-eight thousand plus HST, they gave a very detailed breakdown of the expenses. Yeah, I see that. Attached. Yeah, so I, I see that. I, I, mm -hmm. I believe that it would be fairly comprehensive. Mm -hmm. Well, that's but, what I, yeah, that's what I was hoping for because like that fifty-eight thousand could be next thing you know it's going to be a hundred fifty-eight thousand. Well, and those costs would, of course, have to come to council before you go that. Yeah. So I mean, if you do look at the addendums, it does give a very Specialized detail of mm -hmm. you know oh, the yeah. step I, they take. So, yeah, I seen seen that. Yeah. yeah. So um, but I think we need to have this done so we know where we need to spend our money in oh, the yeah. future. And, and also when it comes to applying for funding without it, like the mayor said, we're like on an open highway with no destination. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Um, this company is through LAS, okay. the community procurement group. So they've done the tendering for these businesses already. Okay. So we we have met our uh, procurement guidelines. Okay. Well, so is this mandatory? Pretty well. It is. So I mean, really, it was supposed to be completed originally in twenty one for the first. Time. 21. So no, someone there was a part of it in, for originally was 2020, and then it was extended to 2021. Yes. And now it's been that's right, they did extend. Yeah. So some of this is all, all already been done then. No, 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 no. We have an old asset management plan that's dated. Um, I know it's been staff report. So yeah, 2013 or 14 or prior to that. So 
So it's already run its yeah. run its course ready. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. So no more questions on the resolution. All for the vote then. All in favor? Yes. 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 That is carried. And we're now down to item A3. So we have the as part of councils um, and our, uh, our procurement or our procedural bylaw, council has the right to fill out a request form for information. And that's how we get stuff placed basically on the agenda for council's consideration. So item A3 uh, was a request to place a matter on the agenda for council Rutledge, uh, dumping garbage on Crown land. So I'm going to ask Councillor Rutledge um, if you would like to speak to this first, and uh, we'll see what we'll go from there. Well, I don't know if this is the first time this has been brought to council or not. <clears throat> Someone brought it to my attention that they're dumping down by the pit that uh, one was just off camera and go. And I went down and uh, looked at it. Yes, there is uh, a fair bit of garbage in, in the bush there being dumped in. Um, it's on ground. Uh, I don't know if that's our duty to clean it up or if it's somebody else's or bury it or what we should do with it. But, uh, maybe post signs or something to let people know it's prohibited. If we could catch it, it'd be nice, but I think that's the way to do it. It's been dropped, dropped to my attention also. <coughs> is there a sofa down there, John? Well, there's a whole bunch of the mattresses and a bunch of tires. And there. There. So it a it is a place that's out of the way. Yeah. Room in there, not... or I can speak a little bit on this as well. The garbage that the councillor Rutledge is referring to is it is on crown land, it is outside of the pit area. So we are responsible for anything inside the pit area, everything outside of the crown. I would suggest that we can contact the owner and uh, see what steps they can take to get cleaned up. Uh, the couch that council brought to my attention has been picked up and taken to the wayside, and the broken gate post on the pit will be fixed in the near future as well. So yeah, I think an important first step then if that's outside of our pit area is contacting the owner with the dumping. That's their responsibility in my mind to look after. So okay, so we're going to send an error a letter requesting so I can guard your stuff people aware of it. So I guess direction to staff at this time would be to send a letter to the Ministry of Natural Resources and Garage School dumping garbage on front. What about some of the other signs you see in the other context that says uh you know, how do you know dumping garbage or whatever, fine two thousand dollars, things like that. I mean, you can look at putting those kinds of signs up. And and we do have, I believe, within our bylaw, accept fines for dumping, I believe. So, I mean, yeah, we could probably put up a sign yeah. close to our, our site there, right? So, yeah. Well, not just there, but they should be posted. Right? Throughout the <coughs> township, okay. you know, because like I said once before, they're right at the corner of 514 and Cedar Grove Road, right down along there. Oh, it's cleaned up now. Mm -hmm. Like there was a couch, TV, yeah. you know, there are tires, uh, 45 gallon drums. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, Okay. So um, Tammy's going to prepare a resolution uh, in regards to the request. Sign it down later. Yeah. Yeah. Sign it up this fall yet anymore. So it's going to come. I think it's on the ground for administration. Yeah, I think too. If it's on the ground at this point in time, I think yeah. it's a an M and R. An M and R eventual responsibility. Yeah. So. If we do have the, you know, I guess my thought is if we do have the the problem of uh, wasting dump on private property, if it's such a, a location such as the Cedar Road, I think it's obvious. My thought would be, yeah, put a sign up in that regard to compare on the problem. So. Okay, 
So the resolution says, coming from uh, the request from Council of Rutledge, the Council of the Corporation of Country Group, now then Dr. Wright, and our staff to send a letter to the MNR requesting the address of the government care of the Colonel Land. Uh, you move to that, Councillor Rutledge, seconder, Councillor Cuffo, all in favor. Yes. <clears throat> and that is carried. Item uh, 8 4 was another request uh, from Councillor Rutledge. Uh, the request was to place, uh, so basically, I guess he has questions about public washrooms at the community center. Uh, so, Councillor Rutledge, would you like to say your concern? Well, my concern is the Council approved these public washrooms a couple of years ago now. They're still not uh, operational. I just wonder if there's any effort being made to, to get them all. So through the mayor, <clears throat> we didn't budget for that this year. It was overlooked. I know the year before we had budgeted for it and uh, there was a contractor shortage and we couldn't get anybody even in quote finishing it. Um, and then this year it was unfortunately overlooked. So Next year, we're hopefully planning on getting that finished up. Okay. Final that comes to Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I have a question. Um, just to, I have a question. So, if the funding, where was the funding coming out of the washing initially? So through the mayor, it? the initial funding was through the main street uh, okay. funding that they received. Unfortunately, what was allocated for that project was not enough. Okay. 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 So, no more questions about item 84. Uh, item 85 was another request by Councillor Rutledge, uh, and it was about the electronic signs. Um, so, Councillor Rutledge, would you really like to expand on that request? Well, yes, we, we've discussed this several times, Councillor. I guess there never was a, a motion put too far. Uh, a resolution for electric signs, and since our money now for our modernization fund is all spent, uh, I guess it'll be on the back burner too. For the time we'll get some money to, to look into them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I think there's only a few thousand dollars left over modernization funding, as we'll see later on uh, in, our, in the report that we have. Uh, I guess my thoughts on, on that if, um, if the council wished. To consider electronic signs in the future, that uh, staff may be, it may be a good idea to pursue a grant opportunity, such as the Rural Economic Development grant funding, or maybe there's some other funding that comes from a, an upper level of government. Um, would that be uh, considered under your request? Well, as long as we have the money to do it, yeah. I believe wherever it is going, yeah. uh, it's just something I think. Uh, there's a lot of people out there that don't have computers or uh, where the access to the information and it might be another way that we can inform them of what's happening in the bench. Yeah. Um, your Worship, I have yes. a couple of figures on those signs for your information. Uh, they did obtain a quote from a local sign company here. Uh, single sided digital sign, 37 by 63 inches. Is approximately 15,500 plus HST. Uh, the posts uh, to put it on are around 2,000. And uh, if the township wants to put this on, then that would be on us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what the approximate cost for single sided. Yeah. I think it would be like you said, the uh, worship that. Uh, you know, maybe we kind of keep our eyes open for a grant. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't want to take it out of any federal budget because I don't think no. the taxpayers should be up front to pay for it. But mm -hmm. if you get a grant for it, I'm mm -hmm. happy with that. Um, I, guess, I guess, yeah, council would like to, I think we should probably pass a resolution in regards to the conversation we just had. Um, did you have one? Oh, sorry. Okay, so the resolution uh, says that Council of the Corporation of Patrick Brunel and Dr. Wright will direct staff to research grants to fund the purchase and installation of electronic signs and quadville harbor apps. So I need a mover on that. Councillor Rutledge, I need a seconder. Councillor Banks, uh, any more discussion on the matter? Would we think about the possibility of wanting Brunel also? 
I mean, they are part of the municipality. So there's a, but those signs hook up to the internet or Wi-Fi or something. So I don't know if this is firewall or anything. The like mayor, that. There, there are three options for hooking in those signs. Uh, Bluetooth, which means you would have to be an eye shot to get the computer. Yeah. Uh, there's a cell chip in the window so you can access your cell. Mm -hmm. And there's also the Wi-Fi option as well. So three kind of different options. Well, I think Rude Nell should be included in it. They mm -hmm. are part of our municipality. I mean, it's not just Quago and Palmer. Mm -hmm. The only location of Rude Nell that the municipality has is the fire. Oh, yes, mm -hmm. which is which kind of a main intersection. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's a good idea. It would probably be, it would probably say anybody time going out not being signed and taking the letters off. It would make life a lot easier to yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah. And you can you could uh, advertise multiple events at once. Yeah, where, true. Where so, what we have now is just one time. Yeah. Okay. See, with the two communities, of course, five of those are going on fine. Yeah. yeah. So, really, maybe those two signs should be a bird now in there, but like in those corners that don't, I don't know where, if there's any place out in Harper Lake that. But I think it's one of those things we can cross that bridge when we get there. If there is a grant opportunity, depending on how much we can apply for, maybe may determine how many signs that we have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, so we got the resolution before us. Uh, any, yeah. any more questions or thoughts on it? Well, I, I think we should. Take out the specific locations if we're going to look at alternatives because okay, so uh, because there's a lot more to the municipality than those two locations. Okay, so uh, a friendly amendment then for the original resolution. Uh, you were fine with that, um, John? Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, I've got a seconder. Uh, Wayne, are you fine with that mm -hmm. yeah. minor amendment? Yeah. Okay, so uh, then I'll call for the vote. All in favor? Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, that's carried. Okay. Thanks for the discussion, Council. That was good. Okay. Now we're now down to item 86 and uh, it's a report uh, from the operations manager. The Council for the Corporation and Council for Mill and Dr. Agland accept this report for information purposes only. Anything moving on that, Councillor? Thanks. Uh, Councillor Young. Uh, I believe uh, Jordan uh, may have a few things to say to this. And if you have any questions, so it's just an update on uh, the surplus equipment and vehicles that we disposed of recently. Uh, so we advertised the vehicles and equipment was presented to council at uh, a previous meeting. Uh, some vehicles and, and uh, materials were sold, while others did not sell. Uh, we re-advertised those on done deals, and everything is now gone, uh, with the exception to the 2009 Ford F-250. Uh, it sold on gov deals. However, when we went to prepare it to be picked up, um, we found that the catalog converters were cut off of the truck. Um, we reported this to Dove deals. Dove deals reached out to the buyer and he requested a refund. Yeah. Um, so basically, the, I'm suggesting the truck is scrapped yeah. for what it's going to cost to put two new catalog converters in it. Need a bunch of piping and it's the plow, the plow up, and it's, it won't even lift. There's something wrong with the wire and the motor on it. So it's not worth your time. Um, the other items the Ford Focus sold for $601.02. The 97 International Tandem. Oops. We're going to get 7891 to 67, 64. That's right. Uh, the worth we are discussed, it's sold locally. Uh, 97 fire truck, uh, 5905 66. 
the Massey tractor 54, 87, and 65, and the waste bins are sold over there. So it's cleaned up and actually the last vehicle left the air today. Yeah. We should be expecting a check from the wheels in there. Any questions, Jordan? So, what's the question here? No. 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 I just want to say good job and yes. the air. Yes. <laughs> I just have one comment, and it's not particularly about the equipment, but should we be looking at maybe some surveillance yeah. at our shops, like to cover the area where equipment would be parked right. overnight? Mm -hmm. yeah. Because we can't have this happening. Yeah. I told me to look at Yeah, and like, You'll have an area that's covered and they have to be sure they're parked there for the next. Yeah. The fraction of the council would be the same. Yeah. 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 So then I'll call for a, a vote in regards to the right to accept the, the, the report for information purposes. Uh, all in favor? Yes. yes. <coughs> that is carried. So now down to item 87. And uh, there's a resolution that comes with us um, that we, the council for the township of Brunel, and Dock, and Raglan, hereby approve the cost of $375 for a business site. Business size advertisement in Ontario Command Legion's 10th anniversary edition of our military service recognition book. So I need a mover on that. Councillor Kelpow, uh, Secondary Councillor Rutledge, any discussion on the resolution? What yeah. year is this? <clears throat> this will be coming out in the next year. Okay, that's what I thought because I thought we had paid for this year. Yeah. I think we yeah. this every we, year. Every year. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, if there's no more questions, then I'll call for the vote. Call in favor. Yes. 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 That is carried. We're now down to item 8H. Um, and the resolution says um, that Council for the Corporation of the Township of Brunel and Dr. I don't accept this report as information. Uh, this report is in regard to a cell cell tower uh, location located in the heart of the Bay area. So basically what council has before them is our friends land use agreement report. So resolution is there. I'll ask for a mover on that. Councillor Young, a seconder. Councillor uh, Rutledge. Um, I don't know if staff wishes to speak to this or say anything. Uh, it's a pretty standard report because it's under due diligence. It's classed as a, a, a low level. So there's no action required on the township's behalf. So it's for information and this will be sent off to Rogers for So yeah. where is this going exactly? Let's go down and see. So it's uh, on the report I have the words trying to scroll up right there. It's a larger size map for you. But I don't know if you can see it. It looks like it's uh, on 514 we got put in. Yeah. Just down from Highway 28. Actually, if you heard that way, you can actually look on the field. If you're going to Harvard Lake on the left hand side, the tickets are in the field. Okay. Oh. So we, the, is that Generous Lake right there? Okay. Yeah. So that would, so that would be on uh, Glen Lifty property, maybe? Yes. Okay. okay. So that's the location. If there's no more questions of uh, the resolution, uh, I just gotta say maybe this is a yeah. so just expand the cell and broadband service in the municipalities. So. so when do they want to start this then? Uh, sure. But, but they are going to this is this is the start of well, oh, the start yes. of the process has yeah. been undergoing. This is just another step within the process. Oh, yeah. okay. So, so there is no firm date yet, like you know, next year in February or where no, I wouldn't put it. Definite date to a project like this. Okay. Okay. 
So I'll call for the vote then to uh, basically accept the report as information. Uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. That's scary. So there's no financial report, but we do have an award letter. Um, and it's uh, we have a resolution in regards to it. The Council for the Corporation of Township of Brookdale, Lynn Dock, and Ragland accept this letter as information. So I need to move her on that. Councillor Yaw, seconder, Councillor Kapo. Would anybody like to speak to the letter? Um, Congratulations. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, so I see the um, KHR golf. Yes. I'm thinking, oh, then I'm like, oh, good. Yeah, and if you, you look at the letter, it says, it's my pleasure to congratulate you for being one of 15 winners. So yeah, did we get a list of the other winners? We did not. <coughs> no. So, other than, yeah, KHR, one of the other open ones that showed up in the paper, I think this is. Um, I think this is our little post for our staff. Yes. Um, I know we did have this once before, I remember. Yeah. And Michelle was here at that time too. So yeah. Yeah. No, congratulations to staff for sure. Yeah. And it's something to be very proud of. So, it is. Yeah. Good for you guys. Okay. So anybody else would like to say anything? You're yeah. doing a good job. Just keep up the good work. Yeah. <laughs> I'll call for the vote then uh, to accept the information. All yes. favor? Yes. yes. <clears throat> and uh, this here. Uh, we're now down to item 92. Uh, so we have a modernization uh, funding report. Uh, the Council for the Corporation of Capital for Blue Nell and Dr. Ragnall will accept this report as information. I need a mover on that. Councillor Banks, a seconder. Councillor Rutledge. Uh, any questions of staff on the report, or is there anything that staff would like to add to the report if you'd like to say anything? Uh, it's up on the screen in front of us, the report and the total. Mm -hmm. So, yes, Councilor. I'm wondering if we have any information on when our HR policies are going to arrive. They were supposed to be here last year in November. We haven't heard anything. Do you think we should send a letter off from Council saying that? You know, like we need these. If they don't, if they can't produce them, then refund us our money, and we'll we'll go to somewhere else and have them done. And we can have uh, staff do that, yes. Because I mean, this is a year, yeah. and yes. we were promised that yes. we would receive the first of them in August last year, and the balance of them in November. And it's something that we paid for. And it, well, not totally, but even well, so, um, we need HR policies. Mm -hmm. We can't be operating in the belt. No. I think we've been patient. Yeah. I mean, if they want to refund their money, we can find somewhere else to yeah. get them done. Okay, so the direction of staff would be then, I think, that to maybe you would you make a resolution in regards to that? Direction, direction to direction. staff would be fine. Yeah. Okay. So direction to staff uh, in response. Um, you know, as Mrs. Uh, as Councillor Young has said in regards to, and um, of course the reply will then come back and send um, information to council at a later date as far as response. Okay. Any other questions on the modernization funding report? I know we've had it for a while. I'm just kind of. Uh, I'm just kind of happy to see that basically all the departments, whether it be admin, the fire department, roads, they all took kind of a, a little bit of money yes. and it wasn't all, you know, spread it within one department. So and then the 58,000 yeah. we approved tonight so exactly. will be come out of the 61. So exactly. then our modernization funding money, you may as well say is gone. So, yeah, correct. So now we'll be eligible to apply for more yes, if it becomes available. Yeah. Correct. Okay, so any more questions or in regard to the report? So I'll call for the vote then, uh, accepting this report as information. All in favor? Yes. yes. And that is carried. Now, item 9 3, uh, this is a request for funding from reserves. So the resolution says, upon previous council decision to purchase a fire truck on Bell Beals, no direction was given as to where funds were to be allocated from as it was not a budgeted item. Therefore, staff is recommending the following motion. 
The counsel for the corporation of the township of Boone, Lynn Dock and Ragnall, will authorize the clerk treasurer to finance the fire truck purchase to fire department reserves. And the contribution to the reserves plan to be established to replace the funds for the purchase over the next five years. And further, there is a budget surplus for 2022 that will be allocated towards the financing of the fire truck. So I need a mover on that. Councillor Young, the seconder. Councillor Banks. Okay. Um, discussion on the request. We have Council. Do we have any figures on the amount? Thanks. Yes. Yes. So this is the fire truck that we purchased on rough deals that was not budgeted in the 2022 budget. Like for grace Yeah. Great. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess John yeah. also, I guess we're a refresher as far as I'm out. No, I don't know the amount of the truck, okay. but how, how much is everyone asking? So, so we would, uh, Pull from reserves yeah. for the total price of the truck right. and then repay it over five years. Oh, right. Thank you. Out of the fire department. Yes. yes. Yeah. And yes. do you know offhand what's in the fire department reserves? Okay. Yes. 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 And while we're talking about that, our new plow truck will be coming soon. I, through the mayor, I speak on that. Yes, I did reach out uh, to Jim Gore and uh, Freight Fighter North Bay. Uh, our new plow truck should be ready now, okay. and it will be. Potentially delivered next week. So then we will pay for it and leave it as an unfinanced purchase at the end of the year, because I think that was our plan. Yes. And we will provide for it in our next year's budget. Uh, no, it was no. being paid for. Oh, oh, okay. So yeah. it, it was financed in this year's budget. Yeah. Yes. In okay. The yes. Okay. Yeah, I need that. So in this resolution, it is saying um, further, if there is a budget surplus of, for 2022, mm -hmm. that would be allocated towards the financing of the fire truck. But should we make that decision now, or should that be something we do to see if we what surplus we do have? There might be something more important for that. Yeah, it's if the fire department budget has a surplus. Yes. Okay. That extra oh, okay. would be allocated yeah. for the yeah. construction. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That and what that's something we do every year. There is the goals back into the reserve. Just okay. Yeah. 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 So it's a fire department surplus. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Clarification with council meeting. Mm -hmm. I think it's a, it's a great plan. Yeah. I mean, this is kind of a, like I said, I've, I've seen this a little bit in other places. I don't know. Yeah. All for the vote and all in favor? Yes. 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 Um, and they're now down to bylaws. So, item 10 1 is the zoning amendment. So that we, the Council for the Corporation of Township of Wood Mill, and Dr. Wright, will need to buy a lot bylaw 2022-51, being the bylaw to amend bylaw number 8708 of the former Township of Wood Mill, and Dr. Wright, as amended. So we need to move around that, Councillor Yaman, the seconder, Councillor Rutledge. Any questions of the resolution? <clears throat> None? This is for the severance application we did in the Public, this, this was already amended. Yeah. 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 Any other questions? All in favor of the resolution then? Yes. 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 And that yes. is carried. We're down to item 10 2. It's a, uh, the, it's a bylaw uh, that we, the Council for the Corporation of Township of Broodmill, and Dr. Michael, hereby opts bylaw 2022 52, being a bylaw for AOA. And license special events within the municipality. Any mover on that? Councilor Young, the seconder, Councilor Banks. Uh, any questions of the bylaw? 
Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So this is a new model. This is our, our last special events car launch was done in 2006. Yes. So it's an updated, up to date. So anything like that, Camp Alden, any of those would have to have a license. I, I just I, like before, except it's just it's an updated by the way, yes, to vote today. Yeah. I, I, that's a good idea. Okay, any other questions on the resolution? No, okay, I'll call for the vote then. All in favor, yes, yes, yes. Well, that is carried. Uh, item 10 3 it's a schedule of fees by law. I lead the council for the corporation of the township of Brew Mill and Dr. Moreno hereby adopts bylaw 2023 being a bylaw to establish a schedule of fees for municipal services. We need a mover on that. Councillor Kapow, mm -hmm. seconder, Councillor Banks. Uh, discussion on the resolution. Or would staff uh, like to add anything to that? Or? So, this is our schedule of fees that we had brought to council. Few months back, yeah, and months back. we integrated council's changes into the bylaw mm -hmm. and uh, bringing it back for approval. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. No question, so, so we're, we're going to charge everyone for commissioning the documents. Any more questions? No. I'll call for the vote then. All in favor? Yes. 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 And that is carried. Item 10 4. Uh, the resolution says that we, the Council for the Corporation of the Township of Blue Mountain, Dr. Ragland, hereby adopts bylaw 22 2022 54, being a bylaw for the purpose of setting speed restrictions and naming of Sully Road. So I need a uh, mover on that, Councillor. Thanks. Uh, second, your council cough up. So, uh, does council have any questions on the bylaw? No. There's nothing in the bylaw that have questions. Um, I guess my only one question is kind of on the, the, the bylaw itself, but is the cellar room complete? Um, so all those in favor of the resolution? Yes. 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 And that is carried. Uh, item 10 5. <laughs> <laughs> law 2022 of Township Highways. That we, the Council for the Corporation of the Council of Brunel and Dr. Wright, will be by adopts bylaw 2022 55 and the bylaw for the purpose of renaming a portion of Rohan Road to Nordic Lane. So I need a mover on that. Council Yon and seconder Council Kaufman. Uh, any questions or comments on the bylaw? None. Mm -hmm. I know this is. Uh, I know this was brought to council before. Uh, concern yeah. from the, the Nordic Club about naming and for nine one one purposes in case of emergency. So this is tidying that up for them. And hopefully, it will result in better services if they ever need it. So uh, I'll call for the vote. Then all in favor? Yes. 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 And that is carried. Item ten six. Uh, bylaw to appoint a bylaw enforcement officer that we, the Council for the Corporation of the Township of Rudin and Dr. Bragg, hereby adopts bylaw 2022-56, being a bylaw to appoint a bylaw enforcement officer. Uh, I need a mover on that. Councillor Yon, a seconder. Councillor uh, Rutledge, uh, any discussion on the bylaw? So, no, just that he will be working on. Doing short form wordings and that to be yeah. able to get. Yeah, so I guess basically we kind of make this, and I think you're just going to see the individual's name come up again under our our building inspector. Yeah. So um, our new hire, I welcome Dwayne Mary to the to to the municipality. So Dwayne is going to be our uh, bylaw enforcement officer, uh, building inspector, new training, fire prevention officer. And only one more thing, emergency management coordinator. Thank you for that. 
So, yeah. Through the mayor, yeah. um, Ms. Reiner, I will be looking for direction from council regarding bylaw enforcement to what extent we want our lives and places to be focused Well, perhaps he could look at it and if he has experience, which he has doing bylaw enforcement, he may know the bylaws that need the mm -hmm. most attention. He's going to bring a report. Too. Yeah, he can, you know, perhaps do a report or meet with us or whatever, but, you know. Okay, okay so the resolution is there. Uh, if there's no more questions, um, I'll do both and all in favor. Yes. yes. Then that is carried. Item 10 7 uh, is bylaw 2057 to appoint a building inspector that lead the council for the corporation of township of Rue Delta and Craig hereby adopts bylaw 2057 in the bylaw to appoint a building septic inspector. I need a mover on that. Councillor uh, Banks, Councillor Yon seconds. Uh, any discussion on the matter? So I know our, our interim um, building inspector, he simply said he didn't want to be here forever. He is retired. Uh, I guess we definitely have to thank him for his service. Yes. Uh, we knew he was on a, a limited available basis. And, uh, is he done now? No. Not quite. Okay. He's, he's helping train and okay. um, going. Nice. So, yeah, measure. So, nice. yeah. yeah. So he'll be here for a few, few more months. Yeah. No, 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 no. I think it was November. It was kind of the first yeah. of November. Okay. I think. He's... Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to thank Dwayne, or not Dwayne, uh, Dawn. Yes. Um, I've had a few people that have worked with him this summer yeah. with building permits and that, and they were very pleased. Yeah. Um, they said he was very easy to get along with and yeah. that, you know, great information. And mm -hmm. so I'd like to thank him for helping us through yeah. our summer. Yes, exactly. thank you. Yeah, no, for sure. He, uh, I had lots of positive comments. Yes. Yeah, very positive. And to welcome Dwayne aboard. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so saying that, um, all in favor of the resolution? Yes. 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 And that is carried. So that ends the open session of our uh, council. And right now we have to go into closed. Um, and there's any the resolution. Uh, before we go into closed, I just got a few things to say. Um, I guess everybody knows it's no surprise. This is kind of my last regular meeting as mayor of the municipality. Um, so I leave it with a lot of uh, city noise. Uh, it's been an interesting four years to say the least. I hope I'm back on council after October the 23rd, 24th, of course. Um, it's been a privilege and an honor to, to simply serve residents of this municipality and I want to thank them. Uh, for most of them that um, give me a call or complaint, they were always professional about it, and I respect that. And I really thank everybody for their support. Um, you know, the support I received over the last four years, um, whether it was a phone call or a conversation, you know, during our times of trials and you know, tribulations, I'll say, uh, but nothing short of amazing. And I definitely thank people. It's been a pleasure to work here and to lead this municipality. Um, I know we've made a lot of progress here in the last 10 months. We've come a long ways as far as meetings and how they're they are run. Uh, definitely run more like a municipality should be run now. I've watched staff develop themselves <coughs> to a point of where they really stand on their own. And to me, it's almost like watching their own children go off and make success of themselves. So, uh, it's been a pleasure and um, wish everybody well in the election. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, right now we have a resolution going to close that lead council for the corporation of the township of Drew Mellon Nut and Ragnar with the closed session pursuant to the Municipal Act 2001, Section 2392, for the purposes of subsection B, personal matters of identifiable individual, including municipal or local board employees, and one issue of litigation or potential litigation, including matters before administrative tribunals. Affecting the municipality or local board. Mover on that, Councilor Banks, seconder, uh, Councilor Falco. Uh, yes. yes. And that is carried.
motion. So the motion before us is that Council for the Corporation of the Township of Brunel and Dr. Randall come out of closed session at uh, 8 25 p.m. I need a mover on that. Councillor Rutledge, seconder Councillor Kelpa, all in favor? Yes. And that is carried. So I'll give a small report to uh, what was discussed and closed. So during close, we had three items of personal matters about an identifiable individual, including municipal, local, or local board employees, which was discussed. Uh, one issue of litigation and potential litigation, including matters before administrative tribunals, affecting the municipality or the local board. So right now we're down to uh, item number 12, the confirmation bylaw that we, the Council for the Corporation of the Township of Bruno and Dr. Wrangell, hereby adopts bylaw 2022-58, being a bylaw to confirm the proceedings of the October 5th, 2022, regular meeting of council. I need a mover on that. Councillor Banks and Councillor Rutledge. All in favor? Yes. yes. And that is carried. We're now down to adjournment. Uh, that this meeting adjourn at uh, 8 26 p.m. And I need a mover on that. Councillor Banks, all in favor? Yes. And that is carried. This meeting's adjourned.